good morning and it really is morning because it's about half five on a Saturday morning and I am obviously on the move but today I'm making my way to Waterloo to meet Adam, my brother because we're off to Chessington World of Adventures today so for Christmas I bought him a capybara feeding and if you don't know a capybara is the world's largest rodent, I believe. I don't want to misquote or misrepresent any other rodents out there. But Adam really likes a capybara, and he's never actually seen a real-life capybara. So I saw this at Chessington and thought, yes, that's a gift for my brother. It was also his birthday this week, which is why we're going today, which is the 9th of July, for anyone interested. And uh, I'm tying the two things together because A, he was really unhelpful with providing anything that he actually wants for his birthday and B, there's a few costs that come in with this. When I originally gifted said capybara feeding, I didn't know and I didn't think it was going to be this early in the morning. So you used to feed them lunch, which is obviously part of the park opening times. But now you need to be at Chessington for 8am to feed the capybara's breakfast. So that's, that's why we're up so early. So we've got to get a train to South Chessington and then walk our way to the park. And fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. Because the line that my brother uses is completely shut today. And they had tube strikes overnight. Which should finish by half four, so an hour before now. But there might be some sort of knock-on effect, which I'm hoping there isn't, and it's just a smooth journey. Because who wants to think at this time of the morning? That is the plan for today. An exciting one, but an early one. So I will come back to you when A, I'm not about to walk up a hill, and B, when I'm a little more awake and alive and with my brother. We've arrived in Chesington. Yes, hello, we're in Chesington. It's 7.30 in the morning. Since Adam's got his toucan shirt on. Yeah, because, you know, go see the animals. And, uh, uh, so we're, we're walking, Yes, obviously. Uh, it's about a 15 minute walk from Chesington South. Should anyone ever want do to it. know and do it. Um, I bet there's a bus later. Oh yeah, probably. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go and feed some nibbly girls. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam's been doing all the research on yeah. their names and things, he's got a post-it. There's with the Annabelle, names. Alicia and Bebe. Um, Bebe is already my favourite. <laughs> I've not even met them yet. Is that why capybaras? Uh, they're just peaceful and blissful and they do this. And they're really friendly with other animals and they look kind of dignified and happy at the same time, which is not a combination that comes about very often. <laughs> They just make me kind of happy. But as but. I said this morning, although a while ago... Did you, did you actually do a video this morning? Oh yeah, I started this while oh. I walked up, you yeah. must have been like... Uh, uh. When I booked this, or at least I owe you did to Adam, I didn't know it was 8 o'clock in the morning. I, I don't think it was when I looked the first time. No, well, they, they got their breakfast in Capybara, isn't they? Well, originally it was lunch. Which was confusing because the website still said lunch. So I did email them going, um, your website says lunch, but my ticket says eight. Please yeah. help me. It'd be very early lunch. That's almost as early as dad has lunch. <laughs> with everything, with my filming, I will show you what I can. But I don't have a contraption for rides, so you won't be coming on rides. What, strap it to your head? Is that the... Uh... Or a wrist mount, or you, know, okay. you can do those kind of things. Certainly if you've got GoPro things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, let's see what we can see. Just by the bed. Hey, got some carrot for you. No, not the gloves, the carrot. <laughs> Silly beast. Oh, sorry, dropped it. Oh, hello. I also found they, they love potatoes now, so if he says no, he's lying. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, just be careful these fingers on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Keep dropping all the carrots. Yeah, Ooh, once it gets you. down to the end, it might be easier to just put it on the ground for them. Mm, yeah. What do they eat in the wild then? Same as this, just the things they eat. Just whatever they can get a hold of. Yeah, basically. They're very, very used to living in like very woodland areas. It's your eyes, isn't it? That's what it is. Your little narrow eyes. Is that because they're in the water, do you think? The narrow eyes. Potentially. Probably similar to how, like, uh, obviously evolution with, like, giraffes being what they are. is probably the same because they adapt to their surroundings. What did you think? I had great fun. I met three capybaras. They were not the three capybaras I was expecting. Uh, we met... Timmy, Victor, and Chesney. Chesney, yeah. Chesney, like Chesney Hawks. But, fittingly, Chesney Hawks Capybara was bullied by the others. Because uh, Chesney Hawks, you know, very bulliable. Uh, yeah, so we got to hold the carrots, and they came, and they were like, mm -hmm. crunch, crunch, crunch. And we got to stroke their lips as they were eating. Um, we had to wear gloves. <laughs> Which some, kind, some of us wore gloves. Which I kind of did. I, uh, my third, uh, each glove I put on just split as my hand went in. So I had this like hole in my hand. I've got a carrot on it. I've got a capybara. Mm, mm, watch the teeth. Watch the teeth. Because this is a big old rodent. Big, and yeah, big old rodent. Very big rodent. It was really chill and really nice. And the people we were with, there was a sort of hipster dude just saying, yeah, here's a capybara. It's got webbed feet, it's really good at sitting down. Fair's like that, sounds like Adam. It's like, fair, fair enough. And yeah, they're just everything you want them to be, really. Just very blissed out and chill until someone tries to get their food, then they're like, hey, get away. So yeah, like me. The links between Adam and Capybaras. <laughs> we thought about it before we got there, but now, now even more so. But no, it was good. It was. Web tans. It was, as Adam said, very chill. So, because it, we now found out why it's eight o'clock in the morning, because they're essentially in the middle of a ride, so they can't do it while things are operational. So that's where you do it. But then, obviously, they're trying to test the ride and getting annoyed that people are feeding the flowers. So it means that you're essentially the only guests in the park. People not working there in the park in the morning, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. Didn't see much testing going but then I guess it was early. And, and we didn't, didn't pass many day. rides. Oh, we passed quite a few. Oh. Yeah, good. Uh, so then we've just come to the, the beef eater that's down the road. It's called Monkey Puzzle, because they do breakfast. So once, so our experience was at eight. We came out of the park about quarter to nine. And now we need to head back up to the park because it opens at 10. Um, I think it's open 10 till six today, so. It's a bit weird though. It feels like we've done the day the wrong way around. It almost feels like the end of the day, doesn't it? Yes. I, I had a huge breakfast. It came in many courses. It involved crumpets, syrupy pancakes, cooked breakfast. Pan chocolat. Pan chocolat. Yeah, it was busy. A busy breakfast. In terms of food, not in terms of... It's actually quite quiet in here. Oh, yeah. Because we've obviously beaten the rush. Um, yeah, now we're going to head back to the park for... Part two. <laughs> so, yeah. The next day, even though it's not not today. Stroll for a deep Oh, I did it wrong. I'm now stroll for a deep Was it? I mean, they're literally about to tell you the story. Yeah, some oh, <laughs> some people took a ride after eating food.
apparently not waterproof. They're like they let water in. Sad temper. It's not sad, it's just thinking about the deeper things in life. <laughs> I don't know whether it's partly because of the casual, the occasional swish of the tail as well. Mm. Oh, and the ears. Oh. So we've seen a sad, sad zebra and a bird obsessed with its uh, zookeeper. So Adam, Adam just took me on room on a broom. Yes, we went room on a broom. We didn't know what it was really. Uh, it was a walkthrough, uh, but it was quite well done. You know, it's got things that blow at your face and dizzy tunnels and a mirror maze and... Yeah, I mean, it's well done if, if you uh, realise what you're going on. Yeah, we didn't know what it was. Place. We thought it was a ride or uh, we didn't know. Um, so it took us about half of the walk through to realise how what we were supposed to do. Yeah. Rather than just walking through going, uh, well, we missed everything. We, we were late to every room as well because we were at the back. And so the activities in each room were resetting by the time we got there. So we were just walking into lots of rooms with lights in going. Mm, okay. There you go. We have got a broom. Okay. I recommend it, but just actually go on it. I mean, I would recommend staying at the back, but you know. Not so far back. Well, no, because if you're at the back, it means you'll be able to do everything and have a go without everyone yes. else there. But if you're as far back as we are, you've got no clue what's going on. Oh, well, I guess we just hung around a bit, didn't yeah. we? And then, yeah. And then you can pick it up a bit better than we did. Well, as I said, it, it's done better than the Enchanted Passage. I'll link that video. Yeah. Which was fun. But, yeah. So. Me and Adam are doing Chesington differently to when I came with Pete. And I'll link the video where me and Pete did the penguin experience up here. Uh, me and Adam have spent more time with the animals, so we're about to go into Trail of the Kings. <laughs> Oh, I've got a half party, just like. Oh, it's not Yeah. Oh, it's not that Yeah. 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 The pure disappointment of Trail of the Kings is yeah. we can't see the fox. No, we saw yeah all the naff ones, you know, gorillas, lions, penguins. Peng yeah, yeah, the penguin enclosures. Ki not even king penguins. Relocated. Yeah. While they do up Penguin Island. But the king of kings, the red fox, fox that I see every day. Adam saw one carrying a pair of pants the other day. Yeah, so yeah, walking around with someone's knickers in its mouth. But these ones are asleep. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, Good on them. I'm sure you'll see one tonight anyway. I'm sure I'll see one. Well, I'll definitely hear one tonight. <laughs> this is purely for Pete. That was purely for Pete, if he ever actually watches these videos, which is highly unlikely. Um, <laughs> because if you've seen our Mini Moon Part 1, which I'll link up here if you're interested, that's an animal that we kept trying to find and we just saw a black bum when we left on our checkout day. So there you go Pete, that's what a binturong looks like. We've just been a monkey spinner. Yeah, Swing it, it gets you a little bit wet, it turns out. Only if you uh, sit on the outside. I'm soaked. My legs are soaked. My chest is shot. I kept thinking I was going to miss the jet and it got me. It the surprised one, me. The one that got me the most, because I happened to turn around at the same point, is the one that took Adam's glasses off with it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't knock my specs off. 
I don't think you can then tell on camera quite how wet you are. No, every bit of me is wet. This is, yeah. Oh, it's a sunny day. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, but I've got such a st sore stomach now. That's definitely a way to improve a swing. Yeah. Oh, particularly if you're with someone that's on the outside getting soaked. But I thought because I wasn't on the outside outside, I'd actually be okay, but I wasn't. Oh, but yeah, no, that. That's really tickled me. <laughs> it's really soaked me. <laughs> oh, we've got uh, eight minutes before the feeding starts. Oh, so if we get in now, Hello. should be all right. Hello. Yeah. Oh, first of all, we um, can only... we're going to the Lorikeet Lagoon, and I'm going to try and uh, recover my stomach from all the laughing. Give it to you. Fair enough. Uh, ha 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 ha. I'm going to pass it to Faye. Oh, God. Uh, it must be molting season. Probably. <laughs> 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 yeah, come on in. Come say hi. Oh, look, lovely nectar. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful nectar. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed. He said, don't do that. I'm trying oh. to eat. Oh. What do you think of that stuff? Na, 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 na. Um, papa, um, papa, that's how it goes. No, I know. He's annoying, I know. <laughs> Very annoying. <laughs> So we've done a whole heap of animal feeding today. Yeah. Well, two, two lots. We've fed lorikeets, and capybaras. capybaras, and ourselves. Yeah. Now we're going to feed tigers. By throwing ourselves in there. Well, we're not. But, um, yeah. Uh, the little pots of feed are two pound, which I think is a little steep. Yeah, a bit. But we did all that sharing, didn't we? Yeah, we shared. It was fine. Thank you, wow. tigers. Um, and there are certain times of the day where they feed. If they're in like two hour blocks. We just happened to walk in as one was starting. Ending. Ending. We Going had, on. We had like eight minutes left of it. So. Yeah. But we got in there. Oh yeah. We fed some larkeets. They climbed up us. They fought over us. They made us feel important and special. We have weird hairy tongues. Huh? Weird hairy tongues. Yeah, weird hairy tongues. Evil red eyes. <laughs> And they were molting, so they weren't at the best. Yeah. Um, but fun, anyway. I've yeah. never fed a lorikeet. So. No. Even if they do spray you with their weird nectar thing. They sprayed you with their weird nectar, they did not spray me. They already knew I was dampening up. <laughs> now we're just sort of wandering, see if we can find some tigers. Yeah, the rest of this land is dead. I think they've closed most of it. There's only one ride in here anyway, and it's the log flume that they've shut, even though it's hot. So I don't know where they've done that. Oh, there are some toilets there. Can you do it? No, I'm not okay. kidding. All right. Um, but even so. the food in the arcade is shut. It's because they don't expect many people back here, I guess. But also, the music is loud, so I'm going to yeah. go. So I got a bit hot and stopped vlogging. <laughs> um, and we ended up. Is that in why? We ended up in some long queues. Yes. Um, yeah, we were on Master Blaster. Two Blaster. Blaster. And we went on it because it was a half hour queue. Yeah. And then we were there for a very long time. Yeah, we were there for about an hour and a half, I think, in the end. It broke down a lot. It did. And there was one train that only could fit like eight people on it, ten people on it, I guess. Yeah. But I got 21,000, 25,000 on the Jujujujin. You did. Yeah. Because we did end up on it. I showed that mummy who's boss. Uh, so we also did Dragon's Fury, which was a lot of fun. Yes. And I showed that dragon who's boss. <laughs> and we went on the vampire yes. coaster, which is probably my favourite. I showed that vampire who's boss. <laughs> um, but the part shut at six and we were still in the queue for Vampire and then somehow, conveniently, they managed to get us through rather quickly yeah, all after of a that. sudden the queue moved really quickly when it was home time. It also felt like the, the ride went a lot <laughs> the ride quicker. The very quickly too, yeah. Uh, uh, it's good though. Compared to last time, which I prefer, but... All in all, it was a very good day. Yes. We got to see, you know, lazy 
lazy, lazy gorillas, get attacked by lower kids, give capybaras a lovely breakfast. I didn't film the sea lions. Sea lions, oh yeah, they were practicing for a show but they couldn't quite get it right. They just basically swam in the same formation. Yeah. Two of them went under a bridge and one of them came up to meet them. But they kept just doing it again and again as if they hadn't quite got it right. Yeah. And they kept doing it slightly differently, didn't they? Yeah, they did. And when, when the second one didn't come up under the bridge, you could tell the first one was a bit pissed off. But, yeah. you know. It's like, come on, you're supposed cute. to come under the bridge. And then, then Arnold's supposed to come up and then we're supposed to go round. Come on, people. Arnold is not one of the names of the sea lions. We don't know what the third one was called. Um, so we're now walking back to the train station. Yes. And do the journey in reverse. I am Pinky. Currently at almost 21,000 steps. Oh, well, when you said I am, um, I thought you meant the back of your neck. Oh no, I am a little pink too. Yeah, pink. Um, so yeah. Not firm. At about 21,000 steps. Feet are hurting, but it's been a good day. Been good. You enjoyed your Christmas slash birthday present. It's been a great Christmas slash birthday present, thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. So, on that note, because I'm tired, I'm going to end this video here. So, Bye -bye. if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you fancy it, go ahead and subscribe. I think what's coming up after this, we've got another gig. And then we're moving, so that's all coming up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye-bye.